Hello everybody, it's Mike Levin. On Wednesday, July 27th, 2016, at around 4.40 p.m. And this video is when we make this little system, SEO Notebook, uh, which loads the uh, Pipulate module into something that's day-to-day -day useful. Loads Pipulate, let's say, functions. So Pipulate is now an API definition uh, for how to write functions so that they can plug into SEO Notebook and potentially other things uh, because Pipulate can work against anything which is a uh, tabular data format, which, you know, in general business world means uh, spreadsheets. And I work against the web API of Google Sheets because it's there, it works, it's, uh, it doesn't require uh, SharePoint or some other you know, server technology that you need to keep. And it's got a wonderful system for uh, sharing people in and collaborating. So uh, this version, the, this line of code, these lines of codes here essentially uh, implements the pipulation process against Google Spreadsheets. And seeing as how that's so few lines of code, this can be written to work against, say, uh, a general uh, Python shelve object, uh, which can take on spreadsheet-like format very easily. And then that can be back-ended by uh, Redis or MongoDB or anything else that's supported by the shove package that connects uh, all kinds of database backends to anything using the shelf shelve API, uh, one of the core library things, core packages. So anyway, on today's video, after that ramble, I will be implementing a real title function here. And uh, that will be using work that I had done in a prior video where we uh, grabbed some, you know, uh, HTML off a page, uh, wrote a little regular expression, uh, grabbed the pattern and returned the, the match, which happens to be the title tag, conveniently enough. So this is another connecting the dots video. Um, but before I do that, I am going to take a moment to uh, take care of this really long line. First, the line where I figured it out is long. It doesn't need to be there. And then this, I'm plugging something into this uh, index location that should be given a variable name and be two shorter lines. Uh, this represents the uh, index that we need to use for the uh, for the cell that we're trying to address. So this is cell address equals, that's just almost as long as it was, isn't it? Let me put that down there. Let's see if that needs to be broken into any shorter lines. I think it makes it more understandable though, which is important. Uh, some of these variable names are just long to start with. number height, underscore columns and, and before my underscore days I would have just called that column or something columns uh, but I'm gonna go with this this way and uh, I am NOT gonna get bent out of shape uh, let's see Jupyter notebook I don't see a ruler uh, I'm sure that's an option but I'm not gonna get bent out of shape uh, with uh, pep 8 uh, narrowness 79 column narrowness at the moment as long as this continues to work. And as a reminder, uh, the way it works now is, you know, it returns the URL under the title column and the length of the URL string under the description column. So to make sure it's working, and just slide this over that way, give ourselves a before and after. The before has it blanked, the after, which will be from running this. Restart and run all, make sure that I didn't uh, ruin anything. It should still be working as it did before and as expected. 
and it is. So let's make that title function. We see here that it requires the import of requests NRE, and as it turns out, the pipulate functions are going to have uh, global imports. I think that's just uh, a logical thing. So that's step one. Step two, uh, we want to uh, actually grab that URL and put it in a response object. And that would be in the pipulate function and not in uh, SEO notebook. So we put that in there. We're not going to be returning that, but we do need that. And I guess we could do it in the shortest notation possible, not creating any extra unnecessary variables. And considering how short that is, I say why not? Now, of course, there's no safety on any of this. Uh, so if things go wrong, it's just going to, you know, uh, but that's okay for now. So we've got a response object and we want the title tag out of that, which as you'll recall here, we're doing it against response.txt. Yeah, okay, that's, that's pretty solid, I believe. Except of course, that's the wrong one. It's this one that I want. I think I got it all. Not quite. Copy. Oh, this one here. Paste. Now, I will be the first to admit this is not the super efficient way of doing this thing um, because the way this implies it's going to work is if you were to get the description, it would have a function which in turn had its own uh, request.get which would result in way too many requests, request, 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 all the way down, twice as many uh, HTML fetchings as is necessary if we were working efficiently. And indeed, we will be working efficiently recycling one HTML uh, request per row uh, if uh, there is a URL column in the row. Uh, it's a nice, simple rule. Um, but we're not doing that right now. So this stands and as I had pointed out in the video uh, we want to put a parenthesis around that and then if matches because uh, it's an empty list so it's only going to uh, be true if there's something in there and if there's something in there there's something in the zero location. Um, let's see, that was just it. It was a list of things and uh, uh, the first one is there. It's most likely going to be the first one. And then uh, there's going to be an else. And uh, oh, we can go ahead and return that, I do believe. Uh, that is what goes here. It could be that straightforward. Let's see how little code this can be. Uh, now, um, if no title tag is found, if there's really no match, uh, what kind of uh, code would that be? And uh, what should the value be? I guess none, because there was no match. But now we can be very explicit. Uh, it did succeed, but there was no matches. This is a potentially legitimate response. Um, no matches against title against the string match. Uh, so yeah, this probably uh, will work. Maybe not. Maybe make me eat my words. Um, I don't think these need to be run. They just get imported by these other ones, uh, which in this case is this. And now this seems like another good time for a before and after but we're going to get rid of the description column. Don't need it. And we're going to blank 
for the title column. Get a bit wider and run this and see what it is that I have not uh, considered yet. What is it that I could have missed that's going to make this not succeed? I should have shown some output giving it's making an HTTP request for each of these uh, 37 uh, lines. Oh, I didn't blank them completely. For each of these 37 lines, and it still appears to be running, so this could mean my website is slow. I'm on host monster, so there's a very good chance of that. Um, but there's also a chance that I, I missed something. Nope, it worked exactly as it just, I need to provide some visual output. And it uh, appears to have not worked on those ones that had data filled in previously. So I'm going to delete these and I'm going to make it show some output. And on what uh, loop element should I provide output? Oh, there's an update here on each row. So um, if row equals one else, well, on each cell, it doesn't matter. I'm spending too much of the video's time on this. Each cell is fine. Print. And I'm just going to do uh, a uh, I. I would be the right thing. I like that because I remember, yes, I did. I, I'm using enumerate. So cell kernel restart and run all. This is already a success. You can see the title function of clearly visited each page and and did exactly what it was supposed to do. So all we're doing now is explaining the, uh, the timeout. And there you can see it right there. Uh, and this kind of streaming output was a big feature of Pipulate. Now I'll format it better here, but I'm certainly going to make this fun to watch and report uh, with some great detail, like what row out of what row. And there you saw the remaining ones filled in. So how many times have you, as an SEO or social media or online marketing person of some sort, had to retrieve title tags for each uh, in a list of URLs? It's a very common task, and that is now the first Pipulate uh, function. So anyone who actually wants to do uh, precisely what I'm doing uh, can download this repo and uh, get started. The only uh, issue you're going to encounter is setting authorizing the app for Google authentication, which is uh, uh, something I'm going to make a new video on because Google keeps updating the developer console. Uh, but I do have old videos on it, and it's fairly well documented. You simply have to go to, you know, you can always Google on uh, just even developer console. These day, days and ages, you probably don't even need to use Google in that search. And there it is. And uh, hope I don't show anything too private here. But here's what it looks like. And you're going to be in a project. And you're going to uh, enable, well, you got to enable certain APIs. And then you have to add credentials for a project. And I'll walk you through that separately. But that's probably the most complicated thing about getting uh, this whole thing going. But I uh, assure you, it's worth getting going because you know if you're interested in, in SEO or the evolution of SEO as Google gets smarter and smarter and rank brain and you can't fool anything, you know what, who do you think you are trying to fool Google? You're going to need to carry out smarter and better exercises trying to associate <laughs> car correlate cause and effect. You're going to have to, you know, correlation does not cause, does not mean causation, but we as SEOs still have to knit together the big picture of which factors are the biggest ones for relevancy. 
uh, is it page length, is it user experience, is it any one of these number of things. And even though we're starting out here with such a simple mundane task as grabbing a title tag per URL, this can get very sophisticated very fast. Uh, blending in machine learning techniques uh, is something I plan on doing and uh, taking thumbnails of the images and you know uh, visiting them with uh, a headless web browser essentially something like mechanize or there's a, a couple of different options these days so that you can execute the JavaScript and you know tell how long it is until the page ready event so you can start measure, measuring user experience uh, you know metrics uh, on your own under your own control without relying on third-party products everything being used here is free and open source right down to this wonderful Jupyter notebook environment for uh, executing your, your Python so there you have it that was the creation of the title tag uh, making API decisions about uh, pipulate and uh, so much more uh, thanks for joining me hope to see you again soon and don't forget to subscribe